uh, 325 milligrams of aspirin that's even better chew that immediately chew it drink it and then uh, drink a cup of water with it and um, and then head of course to the emergency room welcome to day spring life and health channel this is dr Otin coming to you again we recently talked about using low dose aspirin to prevent heart attacks and strokes and also how to mitigate or reduce the side effects of aspirin now today we want to talk about using aspirin during a heart attack itself when you think like you are getting a heart attack aspirin may actually save your life if you can uh, find or get hold of an aspirin during a heart attack so this is not a, a prevention this is taking aspirin when you are actually experiencing heart attack symptoms so before we go ahead and, and talk about how to use aspirin in this regard let's talk about signs of heart attack so that you will know when to use it if necessary so some of the signs of a heart attack coming on or some of the signs that show that you are getting a heart attack is chest pain usually in the middle of your chest a tightness you feel a chest tightness some people call it as a like an elephant is sitting on your chest so that's one classical sign sometimes the pain radiates to the neck the pain from the chest goes to the neck and then to the arms and so for some people after the chest pain it will radiate to the shoulders and sometimes even to the jaws to your jaw so those are signs of a heart attack and also to the back some people will also uh, experience uh, indigestion also uh, another sign of a heart attack coming on uh, some people may even develop uh, stomach pain nausea and another important sign is a shortness of breath you may or may not have all the signs together but if it is you don't have any condition which is linked to any of these symptoms and all of a sudden you're experiencing these you may be having a heart attack so lightheadedness uh, cold sweats and uh, nausea uh, back pain now for everybody it may be different so knowing the signs when you see these signs coming on how can aspirin save your life how can you use aspirin to save your life well the first thing you have to do if you if you think like you're having a heart attack is to call the emergency health services um, in the US you call 911 in other places you call 999 in other places that's different so whatever the emergency phone number for ambulances are listed in your area you call them before you even think about an aspirin so that's the first thing you got to make sure that you call for help or if you don't have an ambulance service in your area call somebody to bring you to the hospital as soon as possible and while you wait for that to happen if you have an aspirin if you have a low dose aspirin then you are expected to choose two of them now let's talk about how to make the best use of aspirin so there are two kinds of aspirins there are, there are aspirins that are coded most of them are coded when you are taking them to prevent a heart attack and stroke from coming uh, in the first place you, you take coded aspirin because as you remember in our last video we talked about taking it and making sure it is safe for you on your on your stomach so you take coded aspirin daily um, low dose coded aspirin but in the time when you are experiencing heart symptoms or heart attack symptoms then coded aspirins may not be the best in, um, in that case you could just chew regular aspirin which is not coded so a like regular clean uncoated aspirin would be what you want to do uh, what you want to chew when you're experiencing heart attack symptoms chew that and swallow it immediately if you don't have a, a, a regular aspirin which is not coded you may want to have that also handy in the house or with you uh, you you can store that for when god forbid the need arises when you experience a heart attack symptom that is when you would chew that one um low dose aspirin by low dose aspirin i mean 75 milligram which is 81 milligrams chew at least two you can even chew three of them and um, that will help you right away because a heart attack when heart attack is happening usually is a clot that is happening on your coronary arteries so if you are able to get hold of an aspirin at that point you may prevent more damage from happening to your heart so chew a couple of low dose aspirins 
if you don't have a low dose aspirin and you have uh, 325 milligrams of aspirin that's even better chew that immediately chew it drink it and then uh, drink a cup of water with it and um, and then head of course to the emergency room but for daily uh, prevention of a stroke and heart attacks you could always fall on the coated aspirin for the benefit of protection on your tummy so that is how to make the most use of your aspirins aspirins can save your life in a heart attack if you can uh, immediately first recognize that it is a heart attack you are having you and then secondly if you can chew it and thirdly if it is a, an uncoated aspirin if all you have is the coated aspirin and you feel like you're having a heart attack then obviously that's all you got but if after watching video you don't have an uncoated aspirin you must have some especially if you have the risk for heart attacks you have a high blood pressure you have diabetes or you have any other kind of cardiovascular disease that you are treating or your age you are advancing age and you are overweight and all those other things we discussed in our previous videos if you have that risk factor or family history of a heart attack in your your well advanced in age all those things would suggest that you should have an aspirin on you for when god forbid a heart attack sneaks up on you all right thanks for watching again this is dr Ting uh, from day spring life and health channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and share the video with others and it will come your way until then beloved i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers thank you